Today, I will teach you how to slide cancel, and I have three pro tips you're going to want to stay for. Here are the three steps to slide canceling. One, slide. Two, jump. And three, of course, aim in and shoot. Now, you put it all together. Slide, jump, aim in. Slide, jump, aim in. Slide, jump, aim in. And if you want to get some reps, you can simply just slide, jump, slide, jump, and just do this around the map. Just cancel your slide. Slide, aim in. Slide, aim in, shoot. Slide, aim in, shoot. Slide, aim in, shoot. And that's how you're going to get used to it. And this is how you want to challenge with it as well. Around corners. You're going to want to slide, cancel around corners and break people's cameras. It'll look like this. Slide around the corners, aim in, shoot. Slide around the corner, aim in, shoot. This is going to be the number one way to engage in this game in Modern Warfare 3. This is what all the pro players do. And I'm trying to teach you guys. I'm trying to get you guys on the same level, help you guys improve. So for me, to give a little bit of quick in-depth, I slide with my right stick. So it's R3. X is jump for me. So I press X. And then, of course, aim in and shoot, depending on whichever buttons those are for you. So it's like, it's like slide R3, X jump. So it cancels the slide and leaves you... Instead of, you know, sliding position or crouching position, you stand up. And, of course, you aim in and shoot. And don't forget, I got three pro tips to give you guys with the slide canceling as well. Number one, tack stance can affect your slide cancel. The tack stance looks something like this. And you're going to be want to be very careful when slide canceling due to this tack stance. Because you're probably doing something like this when you're trying to slide cancel. And it's going to mess up your aim sometimes and not have a good bullet reg when you're just trying to slide cancel challenge people. You're going to want to look like this. You see how I'm getting no tax stance at all. So this is a very important tip and a secret that you guys need to know. Because I can easily get the tax stance if I don't do it correctly. The problem here is you're sliding, aiming in, and jumping way too quickly. And as you can see, I'm cameraing everybody. It's very hard. This is the best way to challenge every gunfight. So you're going to have to time it correctly. You're going to slide, jump. Make sure you aim in after you jump. Slide, jump, aim in. You can even do it very fast. But the, the point is you got to do it after. Slide, aim, jump, aim in. Slide, jump, aim in. Slide, jump, aim in. And that way you're not going to get that attack stance. If you get it a little bit sometimes towards the end, it's okay. It's okay if you get it a little bit. But the point is, is the plan is to try not to get it at all. Tip number two. There's two ways to use a slide cancel. You can be do short and fast ones like this. Or you can do long slide cancels like that. See? It also depends if I'm playing a challenge around a corner, how close I am to the corner of the wall, of course, right? So if I want to get from here to here through a slide cancel, then I'm going to do a long slide, right? But if I'm a lot closer, then obviously I'll do, I'll do a short slide. Just a quick, yeah. So there's different situations and different times you want to utilize either the short or long slide cancel. But sometimes it's okay to do a long one. You don't always have to do a fast, you know, cracked out slide cancel just like this. You can take your time. You can do a long one, especially if you're trying to clear an area, clear a section. You can do a long slide cancel like this. It's going to give you that very fast movement. But also, you see, he has to catch up with the slide. And by the time... He's catching up. I'm canceling it and I'm aiming in and shooting. But if you're closer on a corner like this, you want to hit a quick slide cancel and challenge around the corner. Then obviously you do a short one. There's just times for both, but this is very important to understand. You don't always have to do a short one. You can definitely do a long slide cancel and be comfortable with it. Now, this is something you will have to practice and be mindful about, but understand it is very good. And for tip number three, what you want to do is go to your controller settings. Then you want to go to gaming and you want to go all the way down to slide dive behavior. You're going to want to switch this to from tap to slide or tap to dive to slide only. What this does is completely negates the dive. So you no longer have a dive, but I'm going to be honest, guys. In MW3, you don't really need the dive, especially with how broken slide canceling is and how effective it is. It is the number one movement in this game, and it's the best way to engage in every gunfight. So... 
you're never really going to dive in multiplayer. And most of the time, you're probably going to want to slide cancel either way. But wait, there's more. With this setting, what it does, when you click in your R3 stick or whatever button you click to slide, instead of having to wait to release when the button gets clicked on and it has to be released for the slide to basically initiate, what this does is as soon as you click it, it's like a tap. As soon as you press in the button, it automatically does a slide. So this makes it a little bit more reactive. So trust me, when it comes to slide canceling and if you want some of the best slide cancels and have some even better movement, it's the wave. Also, a quick little tip. If you really want to get good with slide canceling, a lot of it is just reps and practicing. So you definitely want to get in a bot lobby and just practice the movement and do it versus bots and then use it on other people. Guys, thank you so much for watching the video. If this helped you in any shape, way, or form, make sure to drop a like, subscribe to the channel, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.